This is a talk about variation, uh, since in this course we'll be doing basically the social linguistics <coughs> of variation in the English language. Now, variation is a very simple idea and very beautiful and hard to explain, so I'll, I'll do it through an example. Now, we all have names, okay? You've got your name, I've got my name, and the name distinguishes us from other people. So it denotes us, that's denotation. It selects one item out of many. But we've all got many names, and that's what's interesting about it. Uh, for example, I'm called Anthony, and, and you can call me Anthony, I'm happy with that. Uh, I had an aunt, though, who called me Antony, and Antony is a, an accepted pronunciation in English. in English. It's not used for me, but some people could use it. Now, let me see, in secondary school and my undergraduate university years, I was called Tony. And so there are some people in the world who still call me Tony. They are people who knew me at university and then knew people who knew me at university. And so there's this like secret network around the world of quite isolated people who will call me Tony. Uh, rather like the actor uh, Anthony Hopkins, who is called Tony by other actors. And so these two names indicate a, a formal name, a formal given name, and then a rather more intimate, um, uh, informal uh, variant on that name. Okay? Now, I have many names. Uh, I don't know, doctor, professor, papa, for some. Um, in the Chinese restaurant, I'm called El Señor Sin Setas. Uh, the man who doesn't want mushrooms in his food. Uh, that's, that's the way they identify me. And uh, my, my favorite example is, is once in a, in a village in Spain where I have a house, uh, I, I went to the carpenters and I had to pay a, a bill, a, a factura. And so we're looking through the file trying to find me. Uh, Pim? No. And Anthony, no. Antonio, no. And we're going through all these variants trying to find me. And eventually he gets there and there I am, Australiano, the Australian. Uh, since I'm the only Australian in that particular village, that was good enough to make out the invoice to me. And I paid it. Uh, so, we all have these various names for various reasons. And uh, language operates like this, not just in names, but most of the things we do in language could be said in one way or another. And uh, the reasons why we choose one way or another concern variation. Now, what is variation? It's the production and use of variants. And what are variants? Well, variants are things like, like my different names. And what are variants? They are the items that enter into variation. So the two definitions help each other. Variation, the use of variants. Variants, the things in variation. Now, uh, variants can be on any uh, linguistic level. I've chosen names. It can be phonetic, for example, uh, like uh, think in standard English. In Irish English around Dublin becomes think, th -t -t -t, and that indicates a, a, a geolinguistic location, a particular variety of English. Uh, there are variants on the syntactic level, on basic morphological levels, um, on the pitch of the voice. Anything that you can do in language is subject to variation. And those are all the linguistic sides of things you can do. Uh, what's more interesting, perhaps, is what happens on the social side. Why do we use one variant rather than another? 
And it could be for any number of reasons. In the examples I just gave, it has to do, for example, with a social network, people who knew people who knew me at the university. Or it could be a particular institutional location. The restaurant has one way of doing it. I'm called something else in a university. I'm called something else when I play sport. And these are the various domains that we'll meet uh, very soon in this course. Uh, other reasons concern the uh, social distance. Is it an intimate name, a friendly name? Is it uh, a formal name with more social distance? And then we can do things like parody. We can uh, imitate the way other people use particular variants and pretend to be other people. Now, when people use these variants, it, it's rather interesting. It, it, it's not like in language where we can have a particular expression, say a word, and it means different things. Uh, for example, homonyms. Um, I, I, I ran into an old friend, means I met an old friend by chance. Uh, my car ran into a, a light post, <clears throat> something entirely different, okay? And, and to run into that verb has two different meanings, okay? So we have the one expression with two different meanings. Uh, here, though, in variation, what we've got is, is the one referent, okay, the person, and two names for it, two ways of saying it, okay? So instead of the one thing referring to several semantic uh, possibilities, we've got the same referent uh, with uh, various expressions. So it's working the opposite way uh, to what we have in, in, in homonyms, for example. Okay. Now, that's enough. That's enough for a first lesson. I hope you've understood those two terms. Uh, variation, the production and use of variance. And then variance, the things entering into variation. Why people use variation is something rather more interesting. And for that, we're going to turn to sociolinguistics.